Hello everyone and welcome. In this review note, we're going to look at changing modes on a Cisco device, in this case, a switch. I've already connected into the switch and have done nothing else other than connect. Looking at the prompt, we are in user exec mode currently. Here's our prompt, and if you look at the greater than sign at the end of the prompt, that will tell you that we were in user exec mode. In user exec mode, we can do things like look at limited information about the device. We can also do things like ping other devices or establish a secure shell connection to some other device. We cannot see information that requires us to have privileges. If we want to do that, we need to change to privileged exec mode. The way we do that is with the enable command. So we just type in enable. That will change us into the privileged exec mode. The way you can tell we're in privileged exec mode is by the hash at the end of the prompt, as opposed to the greater than sign for user exec mode. And from here, we can see all information about the device, not just basic information. And we can also, from here, change modes so that we can configure the device. If we want to configure the device, we change first in the global configuration mode. The way that we do that is with the command configure terminal or conf t for short. And by entering that command, we can see that the prompt changes once again. And after the name of the device, we also see that the word config in parentheses is included. Again, that tells us we're in global config mode. And from global config mode, any configuration changes that we make will be applicable to the entire device rather than a component on the device. We can also change into a sub configuration mode that will allow us to configure a component on the device. So let's say, for example, that I want to change configuration on one of the interfaces. I can use the command interface, just tab that out so that we can see the full word. And then from that, I would specify what uh, interface I want to configure. So if I want to configure interface gigabit 01, I would just add the name of the interface on the end, g0 slash 1, press enter, and notice again the prompt changes so that after the name of the device or the host name, it's now config-if or interface config. If we want to back out one level, then we use the term exit. So if I punch in exit, that will take me back to global configuration mode. I can always go back to the privileged mode, privileged exec mode uh, with the command end or control Z. So if I go back into interface config mode, use the command end, that will take me back to privileged exec mode. As we can see once again by having no information after the name and before the hash. And if we want to get out of privileged exec mode and go right back to the beginning, then I can type exit and that will take me back to where we got started. And then I can just press enter to get back into user exec mode. That is it for changing modes. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and we'll see you next time.